In this video, I'll be showing you some of the add-ons that I use in Firefox. Well, I've been using Firefox as my main browser ever since about version 3, or when I stopped using Netscape version 7. I can't remember what it was at the end, but uh, yeah, I moved from Netscape to Firefox because I never was a user of Internet Explorer. And whilst I like Chrome, I like it more on the Android than on my main desktop system. It's probably more through laziness that I keep with it. <laughs> so here's the list. They might be surprised to see that I have adblock disabled and I don't use no script. So to start with, why don't I use adblock? Well, I use this little beauty instead, block site. And what I'm able to do with block site is provide it a list of websites that I do not want my browser to go and visit. Now these are mainly advertising related and tracking related. So in theory, that being a smaller list should be a bit faster than adblock. I also do some more restrictions to that with OpenDNS. So I'll come on to that later though. Now for why I don't use no script. The problem is I use FlashBlock and it says, note, FlashBlock does not work with JavaScript disabled or no script installed. My preference is to block Flash videos and any Flash exploits rather than trying to block any JavaScript. <laughs> Plus I find no script really annoying. Anyway, what FlashBlock does is just stop various flash videos from appearing and it just gives me a little button if I do actually want to play a video. And I can whitelist certain websites. So I'll whitelist YouTube, IMDB, ITV. And the next one, HTitle. Well one of my early complaints with KDE was that I couldn't snap and unsnap the window of Firefox when it's maximised. But with HTitle you can. So that gives it the behaviour that I used to have in Ubuntu and that you get in Windows. A keyword URL hack. Oh, this is my favourite add-on. Brings back the keyword URL pref on Firefox 23 and upwards. Because in Firefox 22, what you used to be able to do was use the address bar here and type in something vague that's not an internet address, so it's something like BBC News. And it used to take you directly to the website, whereas nowadays it brings up Google instead and does a Google search on that which is really annoying. And you can be slightly off on the spelling as well, and it still works. So that's really good. If I actually wanted to do a Google search on something vague, it will do a search on that. And so basically, if it's not certain of what I'm after, it'll do the Google search. If it knows what I'm after, it brings up the website. Brilliant. Oh, I love that add-on. Search by image for Google. Another handy little add-on that say if I go across to well, on Google Plus, on the Ubuntu page, you get people posting pictures of desktops. Now for that one, where would I get the image from? Well, to be fair, probably Jesse has told us already, so not a great example to use, but anyway, I'll just show you it in action. I can right click, go search image on Google, bring up that page, go to all sizes. That looks like the logical one right there. View image, job done, found the image. Makes it a bit quicker than trying to drag the image and drop it on another browser window, another browser tab or something to get it into Google image search that way. Search in YouTube, another useful little add-on. So if I, well, using YouTube here, um, and say I want to find out more videos like this one, of HTC One Mate Review, I can right click, Go search in YouTube. So it's an add-on that saves me typing. That's basically the gist of it. Makes me another good excuse for laziness. Right, user agent control. This is something I've been playing around with recently because I noticed that on BBC website, it now plays the videos on Android through HTML5. So I was trying to force my desktop to do the same thing. So when I go onto the BBC website, specifically here, Firefox tells the web server that I'm using Linux, Android, and Nexus 7 with Chrome. And combine that with the user agent JS Fixer, it's enough to trick the BBC website to start showing me the videos in HTML5 rather than Flash. Anyway, back up the list one there. The Ubuntu Firefox modifications is something that just comes pre-installed with the Ubuntu operating systems. YouTube high definition, 
I just have it so YouTube videos start automatically playing in HD, so HD 1080 in this case. Trouble with, since I've moved across to HTML5 version of YouTube, this no longer works here where I've got video size. And lastly, I have the YouTube video and audio downloader. This is one of the few add-ons that I found works with the latest version of YouTube, and they don't seem to track you either, unlike some of the more popular YouTube video downloaders. I'll just show you that one in action. I should have just middle clicked on the YouTube button there rather than opening a new tab, and whatever. Anyway, let's go and show you on a Vocaloid video of Luca Luca Night Fever. Just pause that. So I've got a button down here that says download. Unfortunately, because of my desktop theme, it's not very visible nowadays. But as you can see, I can now download out of various different qualities. And go for just the audio only. MP4 audio only at 256k. So actually that's better quality than most of the YouTube downloaders offer. And now for a few of the Here Be Dragons tweaks. Let's just start with this one here, DOM pop-up allowed events. I changed that to change, reset, submit, and touch end. So that does a better job at stopping pop-up or pop under web ads appearing. Because they do get a bit annoying now. Of course, they're nowhere near as annoying as they used to be, but uh, it just goes up one step further to trying to eliminate those annoying pop-ups. Pipelining, set that to true, and I've set the optimistic requests at 16. So I believe the definition of this is that it makes numerous requests to a web server at a time. So in this case, say it makes 16 requests at once to open up various items on the page. So web pages download and show a lot quicker than normal. Handy little tweak for a speed boost. The browser backspace action I have set to zero, so pressing backspace goes back a page, whereas the default behavior in Linux does something completely different, but I like the Windows behavior of backspace of it taking you back a page. And the last one here is that keyword URL, which I use with that add-on keyword URL hack. So it does the searches via Google. And that's pretty much it. As for appearance, I've got Prowler Black for my theme, which I quite like, and I've had that for quite a while. Plugins, I've disabled Flash and have no other plugins on the system. This isn't permanent at the moment where I've disabled it. I'm just trying to see if I can go through the steps of eliminating Flash completely from my system. So this is kind of a work in progress, hence why I still have the no Flash add-on. And there we are, just languages and services. So that's really it for browser add-ons. The other thing I do is with OpenDNS, and that is blocking certain websites through here as well, and blocking certain top-level domains. Some of these are just through the mobile only, because I've got no other means of stopping these websites being accessed by my device. This is almost a replication of the list of websites I have in block site, but my preference is to actually stop the browser from trying to access the site in the first place rather than trying to stop it through a DNS query, because the DNS query is actually a little bit slower to try and stop things and do website blocking, particularly for adverts where there could be numerous adverts on the web page. This is more of like a kind of last resort really, and particularly with like double click on YouTube, you'll notice here that block site just doesn't work, and I think that's because it's HTTPS. So instead I've got this connection is untrusted, where I've stopped double click from appearing, but um, Firefox thinks it should be secure and it's not. Hence that warning. So there you go, that was a look on at the add-ons I use in Firefox. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.